welcome Justice Kachu. Ever since you've become Chairman of Press Council, you have barely been out of the news. Uh, you're always saying things which are controversial, interesting, provoking, thought-provoking. A lot of people are proud of you, but a lot of people just say he's whimsical, he's gone off the rails, all kinds of things, as you must have heard. The first thing I want to ask you is, when you became press counsel, you saw your charter, you saw, saw the clauses, and um, more recently, you have asked the government for more teeth. Now, your bark is bad enough. What are we looking for in terms of your teeth? You've asked for to include the electronic media. What else? What do you mean by teeth? Uh, first of all, uh, by teeth I mean uh, more powers because the press council has only power of admonition and censor. That's mm -hmm. all. We don't even have a power to impose a fine, <coughs> far less to suspend a license of some media person. But before uh, uh, talking about that, I would like to tell you that when I say I want powers, I s it is not powers for me, it is no, powers for the not. press council. Mm -hmm. Now, please understand, press council consists of the chairman and 28 members, of which 20 are from the press, six owners, seven editors and seven working journalists and five uh, uh, members of parliament and three, one from Bar Council of India, one from uh, Sahit Academy, uh, Lalit Kala Academy and, and one from the UGC. So vast majority of members of the press council are from the press and they are not uh, appointed by the government. They are elected by the press bodies. So it's a totally democratic body and decisions are taken by majority vote. Mm -hmm. I'm not a dictator or something that whatever I want uh, will be done. Sometimes my, my suggestions have been accepted by the majority, sometimes they have been rejected by the but, majority. Uh, and I respect the verdict of the majority. But when you asked, for example, when you asked for more teeth, yes. was it done in consensus? You just wrote a letter to the Prime Minister and all you right, wrote a letter I, I, to... I'll uh, reply to that. Person. First of all, let me tell you that six such resolutions had been unanimously passed by the Press Council long before I became chairman in uh, October 2011. Almost every year the full uh, uh, press council has been passing. There are six such resolutions asking for the same thing which I am. So it's nothing new. In fact, I need not have even asked for I said already they, they, these are the resolutions of the, half a dozen of them. So it's not, it's not that I am asking something new. I, uh, when I became the chairman of press council, I met Mrs. Uh, Ambika Soni, who is the minister, minister of Information and Broadcasting, and I met the Prime Minister. I gave him a letter asking for these powers, these two powers, that uh, the Press Council Act should be amended, firstly by uh, including electronic media within its purview, and secondly by giving us powers of imposing punishment, like fine or suspending the license of some media house which has done something which is grossly uh, uh, improper. Then I went and met Mrs. Sushma Swaraj because she's leader of the opposition. And she supported it. Naturally, she will because she, they, they I told also her that want controls. I, I no, told but her the question here is, hmm. there are two questions. Yes. One is that even if you get that kind of power, the press council gets that kind of power, what guarantee do the people of India have that the next chairman of the press council will will be of the same integrity that you have. It could be a person who would completely follow a government's point of view, view suspend uh, licenses of newspapers, uh, make them pay fine. It could completely go out of control. Uh, you did, just did not hear me what, what I had said just now. It is not I who will uh, can impose the punishment. It is the majority of the press council which consists of 20 out of 28 members from the press. You are presuming that the uh, uh, chairman alone can do all this. No, it is the but majority. But you have been doing, like for example, the letter uh. you sent to Justice Varma. Uh. That was a personal letter from you to him? See, that is not regarding in, uh, uh, the press council. That has nothing to do with the press council. It is in my India. I am a, uh, a citizen of India also. It is not that just because I, have the cha I become chairman of press council, I am not a citizen of India. You can also send a letter to press council, uh, to Justice Verma. Anybody can do it. So you did yes. not send it as press council no, no, chairman? No, it's in my individual capacity. So uh, we'll come to that a little later. Of course. But somehow your uh, demands for more power for the press not council. Not for me, not for the for press me. council. Press council, yes. For the press council, mm. 
are remarkably similar to what Minakshi Natarajan wanted in her bill, which she tried to float, which was killed because of the reaction. But she also asked for a penalty. She also asked for the power to suspend licenses. And the wording is almost the same. May I answer? May please, I please, I'm asking you. I do not know for whom she asked that. The press council is an independent statutory body. It is not under the government. If Meenakshi uh, Natarajan wanted those powers for the government, I am opposed to what she asked for. It should, these powers should be with an independent statutory body, not uh, the government. And if the electronic media comes within its purview, then there will be representatives of, maybe 20 representatives of electronic media also. 20 print media, 20... In the press council. In the, it, it may be renamed the media council. Mm -hmm. So there will be, they represent, it, they, it will be they, they who will be imposing the punishment. But it should be to, there should, it should be a statutory body and it should have penal powers. You see, every uh, 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 social activity has to be regulated. There is no such thing as absolute freedom. So do you think that, that journalists should be licensed like lawyers are? Yes, everybody has, it has to be licensed. I, I was licensed for 20 years. I was a lawyer, 20 years a judge. As a lawyer, I, had, I was in a free profession. But if I committed professional misconduct, the Bar Council could suspend my license or cancel my license. A doctor, if he commits medical misconduct, his license can be suspended or cancelled by the Medical Council. So, As a judge, I could be impeached by the Parliament if I took bribes. But you have not suggested licensing of journalists. Whether you call it licensing, licensing or what, this is, let's not go by uh, 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 hyper technicality. The no, but why not suggest it? All right, very good, I suggest it. So why can a, a, a journalist license not be suspended if he commits gross misconduct hmm. repeat, uh, 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 re uh, after repeated warning he does not uh, reform himself? Everybody, uh, uh, um, um, everybody. Fair enough. Fair enough. Just fair no. enough. But the, they, they say no. We will do self-regulation. Nobody should regulate us. Why self-regulation? No, but that's too. A license is a different thing, and regulation by an outside body is quite different. Okay, call it and, what you want. And you also spoke about the social media control that it must be controlled because people are doing all kinds of Not things on the Not controlled. Please understand the difference between control and regulation. In control, there is no freedom. In regulation, there is freedom, but subject to reasonable restrictions in the public. Interest. Okay, so social media regulation. Social media. Now, let me give you an example of what happened during Assam violence recently. What happened was that a large part of the trouble was actually messages sent to people that this is going to happen, that is going to happen. The large part of the problem was really not the social media because the majority of the people, especially those people working on the lower income levels are not on Facebook and on, on Twitter. Most of them were getting cell phone messages. The government, however, took that, mo that period of time to set in motion a huge number of controls. They blocked websites. They blocked you, uh, Twitter handles. The two journalists whose Twitter handles were blocked were called in by the Ministry of Telecommunications to come and answer questions to them. And the kind of questions that were posed to them were like, why did you upload a Life magazine a picture of the partition in, on your Facebook page. It was an archival picture. So Kanchan Gupta said, well, it's an archival picture. They said you could have morphed it to make people believe it is today's India. When we have regulation, immediately there's misuse of it, particularly this government. They, uh, they arrested Asim Trivedi, who you stood up for. And you also said, you went the furthest I've ever seen anyone go in, in power say that not only should it, was it a wrong thing, you said that he was wrongly advised legally, that the police and the chief minister should have been arrested for, yes. for arresting a cartoonist for this. So now I'm talking about this regulation of, of social media. Look at how they misused it. See, every law can be misused. I'm, I'm not denying it. They have been misused of law. But take, for example, on the social media, some time back, they showed uh, pornographic pictures of some religious leader having sex with a pig. They showed uh, an animal uh, which is regarded filthy in that religion placed on top 
of the holiest shrine in that religion. They sh showed other such pictures which were uh, egregious, which could have created communal riots. Those were the pictures that Kapil Sibyl was going around yeah, showing that's everybody. Right. I agree with Kapil Sibyl. So why he's is he, right? So he is showing them to everyone. The point of the matter is, according to Google's transparency laws, they made it public that the government of India requested 355 uh, items to be removed from Google. Out of that, 258 were only criticism of the government. The rest were three. Three were pornographic, one was national security. A government who is re getting more criticism removed than anything that is inflammatory, but showing it to people like you and me that we're doing we're removing inflammatory things. We're getting, we're getting fooled. We're getting suckered in. May I answer? Please. In a democracy, people have a right to criticize the government. You're absolutely right. And those pictures which were mainly critical of the government should not be removed. In a democracy, the, the politician should uh, have the uh, uh, strength to stand up to criticism, even if, if sometimes it may be uh, unfair criticism. Once you end public life, uh, you should uh, be able to stand up to criticism. There's nothing wrong in criticism. Those pictures which insulted religion, which hurt religious feelings, I'm only talking of that. Those should be filtered out because India is a deeply religious country. You see, you must understand the difference between in India and say USA. In India, if you say that Lord Ram was gay or Sita was a loose, loose character, character woman, if you say it publicly, there may be riots. It may not be so. But in, they may not be. Because you may, presume no, that 90% of the Indians are foolish. But the <laughs> fact of the matter is, Justice Kaju, there is enough, enough venom espoused in Middle Eastern countries against Christians, Hindus and Jews. Nobody riots. It's this appeasement of fear that somebody is going to riot, therefore don't do this and don't do that. I think you cannot be protecting. People are not babies anymore. It's time they grew up. There is a diversity of opinion. If you are made fun of, if your religion is made fun of, if I am made fun of or you are made fun of, we are mature enough to take it. You have seen cartoons about yourself. Have you rioted? Have you f filed a case against anyone? No, you sm you've just smiled and moved on. So the fact of the matter is, if you are a government in power, if there is anyone who wants to riot over a cartoon or a picture, your government should stand up and say, you will not riot. And these things, it's a free country. Everyone will print whatever they want. You must uh, understand that this country is a country of great diversity. That's not breaking news, Justice Kachu. Will you uh, see? The, you spoke for ten minutes. I was remaining silent. Not if ten, I, 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 all right, five minutes you spoke. Okay. I remained silent. Okay, now, now I speak. speak for ten seconds and you start interrupting. So is this sorry. fair? I apologize. Uh, is it? You, are, you, are you interviewing me or am I interviewing you? No, you I got the impression that I'm in, you, you because I have to hear you. I have to keep, remain silent and you keep on talking? No, no, no. Please talk. See, you must understand, this is a country of great diversity, tremendous diversity. And it is also a very deeply religious country. See, religion is a matter of faith, not of logic. Don't ask uh, the reason why people believe this. It is just that they believe it. For example, people believe that this is Buddha's tooth. It may or may not actually be Buddha's tooth. Point is, not whether it is actually Buddha's tooth or not, point is whether pe people believe it is Buddha's tooth. Or whether there is a Hazrat Bal mosque in uh, Srinagar. Please don't ask whether it is actually some hair of the Prophet or not. The question is whether people believe it is the hair. People believe it, that's the end of the matter. Don't lo uh, question that logic. People do get uh, uh, insulted. Uh, you, may, you are a more uh, liberated person, you may be an emancipated person, but most people are not. They are deeply religious and if you publicly insult religion, there will be riots. Now you may say there should not be riots. You keep dreaming of an ideal world where there should be all roses, no thorns. Keep on dreaming if you want to live in a world of make-believe. Do you think that this government is using this as a subterfuge to control the social media? No, I, I don't think so. See, I am all if for freedom. To, if you're saying the majority of the stuff to be removed from Google is only criticism of the government. No, no, criticism should not be removed. P people have a right to criticize. I'm, I, let me, if you permit me to speak, I will speak. If you don't permit no, me to speak. I ask you a question. Well, then I'm, I'm about to answer you. Interrupt me with a second question. 
listen to me have some patience see i am i am the greatest champion of freedom i have been the biggest fighter of press freedom nobody has been none of you have been when when uh, 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 journalists were attacked in kashmir i was the only voice who raised uh, who yes, a person raised the voice none of you did when journalists were attacked in maharashtra i was the person yes, who uh, issued a letter to chief minister that i'll get you dismissed <laughs> when when uh, uh, asim trivedi uh, um, um, was um, uh, arrested i was the per first person to say this is wholly unconstitutional everywhere when when uh, m m some uh, media people in the karnataka um, legislative assembly they uh, m m film that uh, those mlas or ministers watching po pornographic in the hall uh, and action was taken against those media people instead of taking action against those ministers i was the person who raised the yes, everywhere i have been raising more you yes, people you for the i've been the greatest fighter of freedom because that is what i genuinely believe in people have wrongly uh, uh, um, um, you know described me as a sort of dictator who wants to muzzle the press or gag the press what i have been saying repeatedly is that while i am all for freedom 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 must come with responsibilities no freedom can be absolute uh, because ultimately the public interest is supreme you cannot say that i i will exercise my freedom if of speech even if i provoke religious riots there may be thousands of people killed but my freedom is is more important than the lives of people no sorry this cannot be permitted there should be freedom of press at the same time you media people must also act responsibly and particularly in a poor country like india where 75 to 80% people are earning half a dollar a day is it responsible on your part of highlighting amitabh bachchan's 70th birthday sara all that television like you people behave like mad caps showing as if a relevant thing in the country is not unemployment not price rise not poverty not health care relevant question problem in, uh, issue in the country is amitabh bachchan's 70th birthday uh, uh, sachin tandolkar has scored scored his 100th century rahul when rahul dravid retired from cricket the greatest misfortune on in, in indian history devanand de dead um, rajesh khanna dead great tragedy the uh, uh, poverty is not a tragedy for you unemployment is not a tragedy the real issues you sideline and non issues you project as the real issues are you not befooling the public in your this india today magazine they showed on front page Uh, cleavage of the woman breast enlargement is the great issue in this in this country and i wrote a letter to the uh, uh, india today that you people have no shame in a country where uh, half our children are malnourished these are official figures 47 48 i think 48. we also wrote an article against it in news listen 47 48% of our indian children are malnourished which means at least 70% women are malnourished because a woman would rather remain hungry herself than see her child hungry So, if half of the children are malnourished, this means three fourths of the women are malnourished, and and yet our women in uh, bravely are supporting their family, somehow feeding their family. That you will not mention. You will mention breast enlargement. You people have gone mad hmm. because you 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 the lust for money. For you, money has become. It's not a lust for money. It's what else is it? It's actually a desperation to survive. It is commercialization. You people have for you. सबसे बड़ा रुपया न बीबी न माया This It's is not your, quite like that. But why? Why? If you look at all the news organizations, advertisement revenue, TRP rating. What is all this? No, but you, have you seen that they're all losing money? Losing money, and yet, yet then, then why don't you close it down? Because that's that's If a different issue. Or you're doing charity, isn't it? No, the point over you're here. You're losing money, so businessman will not keep on running a business which is losing money. He'll close it down. Why don't you close down your? Uh, if if you are so, uh, are you doing philanthropy or something? No, they're trying to survive. When you start a business, then you try to survive one way or the other. कुछ नहीं है. You 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 people are advertisement revenue profit profit has become your motive. Frankly speaking, for you you it's a business. I've been told well, by owner owners of media when I spoke to them, I said, what are you doing? They said, look, we are businessmen. We will give the public what they no, want. No 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 no. Not everybody is like that. That's like many saying, of them. You're right in that in what you've said that there that journalism has become murky. There are many things that are happening, but right now the question that I want to ask you is that in this, because the because journalism, many areas of it, 
is murky, but there is good journalism. Yes, there is, there is good, definitely. Okay. Now, good. based on that, the kind of controls that this government controls and threats and punishments that this government has been meeting out with this, with this um, slogan that people's feelings will be hurt. In the meantime, they are, they are putting people in jail, they are putting fines, they are controlling people by removing their Twitter handles, they're doing all kinds of things. So although you have stood up for press freedom, I think perhaps you're not seeing what this particular government is doing under the pretext of what you are talking about to protect a community. Then, then I, I, I oppose uh, uh, any such government moves which, uh, uh, which uh, curb press freedom. I, I'm all for uh, 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 press freedom. At the same time, let me tell you, I went to Bihar and a lot of journalists in Bihar came to me and they said, you know what is happening in Bihar? Outwardly, there is no there is freedom. There is no outward law. But if you, if any journalist writes against the Bihar government, then he he, he is dismissed. You've spoken about or transferred that. to a remote area. I mean, media management. The government puts pressure on the uh, uh, the owners. Now, the owner is a businessman. Businessmen normally would not like to displease the government because government can harass them in a hundred ways, send yes. income tax notice and mm -hmm. sales tax. So they oblige the government. The journalist is writing against me. So, so therefore, all the news published in Bihar is, oh, Bihar shining, Bihar shining, Bihar shining. Nobody dares write against it. So I, raised my, I said, uh, tentatively, my opinion is this is violation of pre freedom of the press guaranteed by the constitution. It's a tentative opinion and I've appointed a fact-finding team. But this is also a way of, uh, of uh, how uh, the government uh, suppress press freedom. I have fought against it. I have been the one year. I have been the greatest fighter for press freedom. Yes, that's true. And yet I am branded as a person who wants to muzzle the. I mean, it, well, you are entitled to your views. What can I say? No, nobody said that. A lot of people say it. No, but there are a lot of people say a lot of things. That doesn't uh, mean what anything. What can I do? So now the other thing that I wanted to ask you is that in uh, the government, it was reported they have appointed a panel that is going to put a privacy law in place, in which. Uh, an investigation can be stopped if somebody says that you're encroaching on my privacy, which means that any minister or anyone in power can say he's invading my I'm privacy totally and stop opposed, the investigation. I'm totally opposed to any such law. Because once you are in public office, you are not a private person, then you, you have to face scrutiny. And uh, uh, people have a right to uh, investigate about you, even your private life. Your private life, uh, uh, to some extent, ceases to be private when you become a public figure. So do you think Abhishek Singhvi's business is, the public's, uh, is in public interest? Should we know what he does in his chambers? In a feudal uh, uh, setup, the king was supreme and the people were his subjects, subordinate to the king. In a democracy, this relationship is reversed. Yes. Now the people become supreme and the state authorities become servants of the people. Should be, Subordinate. but they're not. Oh, let me complete. Theoretically, mm. I'm telling theoretically, they become su subjects to the people. All public servants, all public officials, whether they are judges, they are president, prime minister, minister, bureaucrat, police officer, army officer, they are nothing but servants of the people. And therefore, the, since the people are the masters and you are the servants, Pe the master has a right to uh, inquire about you, investigate about you, uh, uh, find out whether you're working properly or, or not, take you to task if you're not working properly. So I am opposed to this law. As a judge, for instance, I'll give you an example. I was a uh, 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 judge in Delhi, the High Court judge, Supreme Court judge. Do you know I have never visited even Connaught Place? It was just three or four kilometers from my house. From 2005, when I came here, this is 2012. Seven years, I, have, I don't know what it looks like. Why not? Because, I'll tell you why. You know, this is our training from our senior judges. That look, now that you have become a judge, you must lead a very reclusive life, very reserved life, very unsocial life. You must not go out in the evening. I'm a human being. I would like to go out in the evening, have a jolly good time, go to cabarets and night shows and cabarets? whatnot. Well, they as a don't human, exist anymore. Which <laughs> planet are you on? I would like to. I'm a human being. I like to have night, um, uh, nice night life and all that. But what would people think of me? As a judge, I had to deny myself. 
So do you think it was right for the public to intrude or for the public to know what Abhishek Singhvi did in his chambers? See, I don't want to comment about uh, Abhishek uh, Singhvi since I have known him. Uh, I will not comment on Abhishek Singhvi, but I, I want to say once On the principle, you, does journalism, once you, is once it stopping, is, is it all right for public to know about it? Yes, yes, people have a right to know about uh, 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 official figures. Certainly, for the reason that journalists are representing the people. Okay? People are the masters in a democracy, public officials are their servants. So, the master has a right to know what the servant is doing. I, absolutely, and I am opposed to any such law which curtails uh, this uh, uh, right of journalists to investigate the privacy. Either you don't hold public office, don't accept judgeship, don't uh, become a minister, don't become a, a, a member of parliament. You've been following the Salman Khurshid case, obviously. In this case, you have written a letter to Justice Verma to investigate. But, and in the Indian Express case, when they did the story of the troop movements uh, in Delhi, uh, you investigated it for 12 weeks. I did not, in the, in the Indian Express investigated it. No, you, I never investigated it. You did not, but didn't you issue a statement that they had a right to report it? I said that they had a right to report because firstly they reported after investigation for 10 or 12 weeks. Yes. That is so what they claim. Yeah, so you supported that story. What I said was that, see, you have to strike a balance. If there are troop movements during wartime, that the, the reporting of that can be prohibited totally. In peacetime also, uh, uh, there can be prohibition of reporting of troop movements in border areas, say, uh, border of Pakistan or China, because if the supposing a war breaks out, they may get to know about your troop deployment. But here the, the troop movement which was uh, alleged was, uh, was not either in wartime nor in the border area. So I, I said that here the balance is that this could, can be reported, it's nothing. Uh, um, in, since you've become a chairman, have you called any news organization or reporter to explain a story that they have done? No, we, we get complaints about uh, 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 stories which are defamatory or things like that. And uh, uh, if there's a prima facie case, we issue notice and we hear the complaint and we adjudicate on that. Now, before you sent this letter to Justice Verma, uh, to in asking him to investigate um, the Salman Khurshid case, in which you also included that there should be an investigation into India today, mm. what should India today be investigated for? Investigated for whether the, the uh, news reporting is, is uh, accurate or not because see after all you must consider her. I'm not deciding myself. I'm saying this matter has to be decided whether this was correct report because you see a person's uh, character is a valuable asset to him. Everybody has a, a, a reputation in society and if you damage, uh, if you uh, attack that reputation you may do irreparable damage to that person. So therefore, uh, the Salman, uh, the the version of India uh, today that uh, Salman Khurshid and his wife did something improper, that should be also investigated. And whether this was a totally false and fabricated uh, slander against uh, Salman Khurshid and his wife, as Salman Khurshid alleges, that may also be investigated. What is the harm if you if the India Today group has nothing? No, uh, I'll tell you what hide. the harm what, what, is. What is the because problem? I'll tell you what the harm is. Because when Tehelka had uh, its operation, Sting, on uh, what they called Operation West End, they, when the Commission of Inquiry was appointed, uh, they were investigated into. They were destroyed by this investigation into them. That is why when you say investigate a news organization, it is not a small thing. Because when you order an investigation into them, you are giving permission to basically destroy them because there will be enforcement directorate, there will be income tax rates. May and, I reply? And uh, Salman Khurshid, as well as uh, you have mentioned that Murdoch's group was investigated in England. The fact of the matter is that Murdoch's group's reporters bribed policemen. They did illegal phone taps. They did all kinds of illegal activity. So when you are suggesting to Justice Verma that he should investigate a news organization with no prime, prime facie evidence that the news organization has done anything wrong, I think you're setting a dangerous precedent. No. Now may I reply? Mm. See, I 
am totally against what was done to Tehelka. It was highly improper on the, the part of the then government to behave in this manner because uh, Tehelka uh, reported uh, the bribe taking of the president of BJP. They had the sting operation and I think uh, I, I approve of sting operations. That is a, a valid method of uh, finding out uh, corruption. Uh, otherwise, how do you detect uh, people don't, will not take bribe openly? So, uh, I, I am all for sting operations. There is nothing wrong. I, I support sting operations. But if Ms. Justice uh, Varma uh, inquires, is that, is that uh, 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 the same thing as what was done to Tehelka? What are you talking? I am just requesting Justice Verma to find out. I am not asking Justice Verma to, uh, to um, close down um, India Today group, um, um, their channels and their, um, their magazine. Just find out what is the truth. Can't you see the difference between this? I am not uh, wanting Justice Verma to hound these people. In fact, he won't have any power to hound them. But surely he has the power to find out the truth. There are versions and counter versions. Let, let both sides. Be. You see, the problem with, with you media people is you are so touchy. You say that everybody is accountable, but media should not be accountable. You should not be investigated. Why not? I, I could be investigated if I was a Supreme Court judge, if I started taking bribes. Parliament could impeach me for mis, misconduct. But you can't be removed from your medical uh, uh, journalistic profession. Why not? Supposing you start doing uh, grossly improper things. Why should you be debarred from uh, being a journalist and you told that you go and do some agriculture or open a shop? You're not no, fit you to should. be. That's, you're absolutely right. You're not fit to be a journalist. You're Why not? You're absolutely right. There has been journalism which has been uh, dishonest, which has, been, which has had an agenda, which there have been problems. But over here, when the chairman of the press council I am not saying that you said go after them like the Helga. What I am saying is that when you ask for an inquiry, yes. there has to be some suspicion of something having been done wrong. What I am asking you is what would you investigate this reporter for? You would investigate his story, his report. Perhaps like you have the power in the press council to call a journalist and perhaps you should call him and hear how he got the story how he did the story, how many times he got in touch with the Khurshids for their side of the version. Uh, for their you wanted me to inquire? Anybody. No, I have I've requested Justice Verma who's, who has a very high reputation no, of integrity. See, I have to give a, a de declaration of dis uh, a disclosure that yes, he's my brother, but we have separate businesses and I do not hold a brief for him. What I must ask though is just this. That yes. There is a difference in Murdoch, hmm. illegal activities, and a journalist who's done a story. May I reply now? Yes. See, this is what has been published in India today. Khushid steals from the handicapped. It is not, not just please now, I have heard you patiently, you must be patient and hear me. Khushid's, not, not Khushid's wife steals from handicapped, not Khushid's staff, um, um, NGO um, people, uh, subordinate people steal, but he steals from handicapped. This is what, what India today publishes. Now, this may be true, this may be untrue. If it is true, then certainly uh, Salman Khushi deserves to be condemned and all uh, uh, appropriate action should be taken against him. If this is untrue, then action must be taken against this India because everybody has his reputation. Mm. If this is untrue, I must, I'm putting if again and again. So, if Justice Verma investigates, he may find out whether this is true or not. If it is true that Salman Khushid has stolen, then India today, uh, then the India today should be exonerated and uh, Salman Khushid must be found guilty. But if it is found that this is untrue, it is, it is false, then what should, should that uh, 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 your India today group not be uh, penalized? This should be. Then this is all I'm saying. But I'm not. I'm not saying raiding their offices. No, no, Please, no. Uh, no. You were no. You were imputing this. That what I meant was raid their offices, close down them. The way uh, Tehelka was treated. You were giving the analogy no, of that's Tehelka. That's a different thing. Then I'm you please withdraw your an an analogy from Tehelka. It was I a totally, that. totally misplaced analogy. Okay, Justice Verma is not a government. I He's a retired, uh, retired no, I know judge. Him well. Then no, what, I'm what are you asking, talking about? No, no. <laughs> you totally. Lose, you lose uh, your total, pull over nothing. Yeah, no, nothing. You, you are. <laughs> 
totally misplaced analogy ki tehelka jaise ho jayega if just see, one more investigate it will become a tehelka no i'm saying that this <laughs> happened to tehelka i didn't say it will become a tehelka this is, oh, but why did you I say because you this example. is there's no analogy this is no analogy listen this government justice katju not government ju justice verma is not the government when you say that every expose that comes out whether it's justice verma or you or anybody else every time an expose comes out that news organization has to be in, there should be an inquiry may yes. i reply now yes please why do you ask me may i because reply your now? question goes on for uh, minutes and minutes <laughs> all right okay See, i'll make one it, sentence question it's a, <laughs> it, it's a, <laughs> a kind of a kind of expose it's not a, i'm not talking that for every expose there must there must be an uh, inquiry or investigation so do you this, have a special sympathy may, for khurshid no no i have no special sympathy for anybody i'm just saying this says khurshid steals from the handicapped that's how he concluded may i be permitted to speak oh, may I'm i be sorry. permitted to I open my draw. mouth in your I'll presence I, I, I the problem quiet. is nobody should speak in your presence no i'm please then nobody please. should speak when in, in your presence i will not speak i promise who she <laughs> steals from the handicapped do you realize how serious this this allegation so let us assume for a moment for a moment that this is a false allegation do you know how much damage it will do pardon me for saying so about some lady if i if it is published she is a she goes to bed with so and so how much damage it causes to her uh, 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 reputation so what have wrong have i done i am just saying <coughs> let justice verma hear both sides hear both versions khurshid's version that this is all false india today's version that it is all it is true let both sides be investigated what is wrong i mean why should be you should you be so touchy about it if you, you know i used to say in the supreme court and in the high court also the please hold investigation against me i would welcome please hold investigation against <laughs> well, i in the open court say that I, other judges may do what they like i used to say in open court when people uh, you know there were uh, petition uh, challenging an investigation some government official um, was ordered to be investigated he filed a petition i said how can you challenge an investigation investigation is not a conviction nothing has been done against you they are in, inquiring again and why why are you afraid if you have an, a, a nothing to hide if you are transparent i said please investigate i used to say in court please investigate me why are you people so getting so upset if i said let both be investigated you should say yes india today if i had been the india today people i would have said yes we agree with justice card to please let it go to justice verma i can tell you justice verma cannot be influenced by anybody i am his uh, uh, you know disciple my chela he is my i regard him as mentor he is one of the legends in the indian judiciary let me tell you justice uh, jay swarma and justice uh, venkata chalaiya these two are our heroes our mentors our gurus uh, to whom we look up you know for any guidance when i was a judge of supreme court if some matter um, about um, whether i for example where i used to receive so many invitations to function parties and i was uh, uncertain whether i should accept the invitation or not i used to telephone him justice verma this invitation is come will it be proper for me to go and he used to advise me like a father or elder brother or whatever so he is a man of impeccable integrity why are you afraid of going before him if the story was to be redone according to what you want they would say khurshid allegedly steals from the alleged handic handicapped it 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 could have been um, um, uh, that would have been better that would have uh, uh, left some room for uh, uh, two views that this is the serious allegation against him so that he should answer this but here you are you are convicting him may i yes by all means uh when you go through an investigation a reporter investigates someone finds the proof and comes to the conclusion is journalism not allowed to come to a conclusion see i let us not talk of generalities i am talking of in this it making such he came an, to a conclusion he he should have said that this is my conclusion but it is for the proper in, uh, authorities to decide whether it is a correct conclusion or not he is not a judge or something that he come to a conclusion in this way oh. so i think it may be true or false i am saying yes <laughs> 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 okay no, i i'm also going to do this now <laughs> when you talk for a long time i'm going to do this <laughs> the point is that when a journalist investigates finds enough evidence which we've seen on camera everything has come out on camera all right people have denied their signatures that these are not my signatures do you expect a journalist to say that this person is allegedly saying this is not my signature 
All right, supposing he has written this story. Where is the harm if this is inquired by an independent uh, former judge who holds very high uh, reputation of integrity? Where is the harm if, if, if uh, an investigation is done of both sides, whether this version is true or false? Yes. <laughs> the, pro the problem here is that you in your um, fairness, of the way you look at things, being from your judge's background, mm -hmm. think that should be done equally. Fact of the matter is, for a journalist to be living under this threat that every time he does a story, he will be investigated because somebody in power doesn't like it, is very difficult for us to work like that. No, you, you must, everybody uh, uh, can be investigated. In a democracy, please investigate me as much as you like. Yes, please. <laughs> 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 you learned that, you know, uh, in the panel discussion, they raised their finger like this. Have you, have you ever been in somebody's home who is being investigated? Have you been in a raid where somebody's house is being raided? <coughs> no, I'm not even of raids. Being raided? Listen, please, Justice Verma, I'm not going to order a raid or something. I'm just saying he will examine the material placed before him by all the sides and come to a conclusion as to who is guilty and who is innocent. <coughs> he is not raiding or directing raid on anybody. Why are you? No, no, I'm not. One second. One, you are exaggerating. Unnecessarily exaggerating. No, I'm not exaggerating of because course. what I'm asking is that a average person, I'm not talking about powerful people, celebrities, editor-in-chief. I'm asking about, say, an ordinary reporter, all right, a middle-class, lower-middle-class, ordinary journalist. If he is investigated, have you any idea what happens to his life? Now, may I re reply? By, uh, just three or four days back, about four or five very senior IES officers of West Bengal cadre came to meet me. Very senior. And they said, whole of West Bengal bureaucracy is furious because what has happened, there is a young lady, IES officer, Mrs. Rangarajan Page. She was district magistrate, Hooghly and known to be of very high reputation. Now, a leading Bangla newspaper <coughs> of Calcutta, I will not take its name. Take its name? No, I'm not going to take the name. They, they uh, reported prominently that she has been removed from the post of district magistrate Hooghly because she was having a love affair with some person. Now, the truth was that she was detected as having lung cancer of a very advanced stage. So she was rushed to Chennai and she's having chemotherapy, radiotherapy and all that and she's going shortly likely to be sent to America for treatment. And totally false allegation. Now these uh, bureaucrats, they sent a letter to the, this newspaper that what have you done? This is totally baseless. Mm. You know what they did? They did not publish the letter on page number 16, totally inconspicuous place, one line they published, they did not, uh, they, uh, a total, uh, in highly cryptic manner, distorted manner, they just wrote that she has, uh, can, the former DM had cancer, that's all. Now, is this fair? It's terrible, you are, it's what, the worst. Then, then why should they not be investigated? You say no, they should not be investigated. Why should they not be investigated? This newspaper should be in fact closed down. It should be closed down. The, you people have freedom of press. You are talking 19.1a of the Constitution. What about 19.2 clause 2, which says that this freedom is subject to these restrictions? This is a problem that journalism does have uh, in India, in many parts of the world. But I've seen that wrong reports are published. Do you publish an apology? No, Accusation. let me tell you. One minute. Uh, uh, everybody commits a mistake. We are all human beings. A gentleman is one who realizes his mistake and apologizes. Do you people ever apologize? Are you gentlemen? No. I, I, you never apologize. No, I, you will never, never, never apologize. I admit, even when... We, so I don't regard you as gentlemen. Sorry, if, if this no, is... No, I'm the, not a gentleman, I'm a woman. When you're a lady. <laughs> I'm saying, I'm saying, we all make mistakes. Maybe by, uh, 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 in some rush or something, as a breaking news or whatever you... Uh, no, I but do once agree, you realize your mistake, I do agree the you apologies, must apologize. I do agree that our apologies are pathetic. When wrong information is printed, when the apology is done, it is done in the most half-baked fashion saying, and an inconspicuous it place. always starts with I stand by my story but if this person is uh, is sensitive to it if that person is sensitive to it then I not even apologize not even withdraw 
then I then feel... Is this proper behavior? It is very wrong. Then, I agree. But however, that puts a color on real exposés that, do, that people have found wrongdoing. I support and real exposés. In a democracy, uh, public figures who do wrong things must be exposed. Because as I said, see, again I'm repeating, in feudal structure, the king was supreme, people were subordinate. In a democracy, this relationship is reversed. Reverse. The people, people become now, supreme. I know it by heart now. All right. So then the people are masters. They have a right to know what their servants are doing. All the state authorities are servants of the people. So I am fully for exposing uh, uh, wrong misdeeds by the public authority. At the same time, you have to also be careful that you not uh, 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 condemn a person uh, wrongly. That all care must also be taken. This is all I am saying. What wrong have I done? But media people, a section of the media attacks me as if Justice Kardu wants to muzzle the media, gag the media, he's a dictator, a tyrant. This is what many people have depicted, but what can I do? No, but there's a problem that after you retire from the press council, somebody else could misuse the rules that you put in. He can't do it because I told you the press council is not the chairman alone. There are 28 members of which 20 are from the press. It's a democratic body. We take decisions by majority vote. Okay. I'm not all alone. Yes, please. Thank you very much, Justice Kachu. Most pleasure. enjoyable. My pleasure. <laughs>